Okay, welcome back. And um, today I'm going to go over the solution to the um, the month problem where we were uh, given a task of typing in a three-letter month and then it telling us what season it is. So the way, the way we're going to do this is also, by the way, just a heads up, uh, I've got a new program here that's going to show the, the keys that I type at the bottom here. So first we're going to ask for input and I'm going to go input. You guys can follow along by copying this solution. Hopefully you guys have tried this solution at home and uh, this isn't the first time that you're seeing the solution or at least you try it. If you try it and you don't get it, that's okay. But it's not good to see the solution before you've tried it. Okay? So, I'm going to say I want I want highlighting, so I'm going to save this and I'll save it as uh Oops. That didn't work out. Let's try that again. Oops. Nope. Save as. Let's go to that directory and then let's go to Python and then let's go to uh, this one here and let's call it uh, month.py. All right. Now notice because I saved it as a .py, I have highlighting. Okay, now that I got the month in, um, I have to now go into a if ladder. I could say if, so first of all, before I do this, I don't know if they've typed it in lowercase or uppercase, so I'm gonna change it to say month dot lower so that now everything is lowercase. Now, now I'm going to say if month equals January. Okay. How about we specify here enter month uh, and then we say three letters. Okay. Or, well, actually, it was, I think it was December, January, or February was winter, right? So we'll go December or January or uh, February. Does that look right? Does that look okay to you guys? Because a lot of students that will start programming uh, do this, and it's absolutely wrong. And the reason it's wrong is because it looks right in terms of English, but not in terms of programming. So look at this. This is, this is supposed to return true or false, right? Well, now there's an or. Now what does that return, true or false? Uh, it's just a string. How is it supposed to return true or false? The, the sad part is sometimes these types of errors don't show up. So, but it's wrong though. Okay. And it's because we don't have a comparison test. So for after each or we need to have a comparison test. So even though that looks right in terms of English, in programming we'd have to go like this. Okay. Well, we don't, we don't necessarily need those spaces. And just to make it more compressed here, I'm going to go like this. Um, there. So now, if that's the case, now I'm going to say print uh, winter, or season is winter. OK? And so basically now I would have to do it 
for the rest of them. Now I could say, for example, elif. Now notice, it's I, I'm having an or here, right? So it wouldn't make sense if I put an and in there because the value can't be two things at the same time. So here I would say elif month equals uh, what's the yeah what what are the other ones? Uh, January, February, March, or Uh, April, oh, that's wrong, right? Yeah, three letters. And or month equals May. Okay, print. Actually, I could just shift and control C, shift V. And then I'll just go. Uh, Control, Alt, oops, wait, is it, no, okay, and then I would just go, so by the way, you know, you see how I did that, I just went Control, Shift, forward slash, or you could do, if you were here, you could go Control, Shift, did I say slash, no. Let me say that again. If you're here, control shift, right arrow. If you're here, control shift, uh, left arrow. And then you just type in uh, winter, spring. Okay, trying to, trying to be efficient at editing with the keyboard. Um, now, we could continue and do the, this. Elif, and then this part would be um, summer, right? This one would be summer. I'll let you guys kind of fill in what it's supposed to be there. But the last one, we don't need another one because if it's not winter, spring, or summer, it has to be fall. So for this one, um, and then and so this one's going to be summer, and this one's going to be uh, fall. Oops. So try and fill in the, the remaining parts of the elifs. They're going to be exactly like the ones above. However, I want to show you something else that you can do. You can specify it like this. And now winter, uh, sorry, spring was March, April, or May. And that's using the keyword in. So in other words, notice here, you can do it like this, or you can do it like this. Um, Actually, you know what? Let's let's leave that there. I did Control Z to undo, and let's let's finish it off like this. Summer would be uh, June, July, and August, right? Okay, and then that's it. We're done. So we don't need to check for fall because, well, actually, we should in this case. And the reason is because what if they type in gibberish? Yeah, that's better. And I'll show you why. Um, fall would be, what's fall? Uh, September? October? And, um, wait, uh, November, right, November. Gosh, I can't even remember my, um, 
there's semicolons here at the end of the LFs too, by the way. I forgot that one. Um, now here's why I, want, I don't want that to be an else, because I want another else here. And the reason why is this now is that, oh, by the way, September is four letters. I messed up on that. So Sep, Oknov, and June, July, August, March, April, May, December, January, February. Okay, that's perfect. Now, the other print I'm going to put here is, sorry, that is not a month. I should say three letter month. Okay, so now that I've finished the program, I can hit F5. Notice it'll automatically save. Let's move this out of the way so we can actually see it. And enter a month. I'll say January. It says season is winter. Perfect. Hit F5 again. And this time I'll hit June. Perfect. That's summer. Let's hit F5 again. Now this time I'm going to say, uh, what about if it's uh, something that I haven't tried yet, like uh, BAO or something. Like, Sorry, that's not a three-letter month. OK, so what I wanted you to learn here is there's, there's a couple of different ways of doing this. One of them is with the if, where you use a two ors. So this is called a compound if statement. The other way is to use the keyword in. So the in statement will check if this variable is one of these guys in the brackets. Okay? Personally, I find this easier to type than that. Okay? But I wanted you to see both solutions. So now that we've done that, our next assignment, which I'm going to go over next period, is I'd like you to write a program that asks the user to type in a number. And if the number is even, I want you to tell them, so type in an integer, right? And if the number, if the integer is even, print, you know, 22 is even. What, let's say they type in 22, then you say 22 is even. If they type in 21, you should say 21 is odd. So I want you to figure out if you can determine if a number is even or odd. And I'm going to give you a hint. It's a big one, too. Go look back at the function we learned in the previous chapter, modulus. Okay, thanks for watching, uh, good luck with your assignment, and see you next time.